going on everybody? Cody from Motorcycle MD. In this video, we'll be narrowing down specifically to a particular model, the Honda GL1200. This was a bike made from about 84, 85 up to 87, many different models, and they had a specific problem that Honda actually knew about. Now this problem pertains particularly to the way that it ran. Hesitation, low RPM, mid-range throttle inputs would seem kind of lacking they would hesitate, almost as if they came out of the box with a weird issue with the carburetors. And Honda eventually found out about this and started to put some type of fix out there for technicians, repair shops, to cater to this issue specifically with these models. Now, I'm only talking about the carbureted models. I'm not talking about the LTD. That bike is, in my opinion, a nightmare in and of itself. No offense to any of you owners out there. But what Honda does from time to time when an issue arises, something that is not necessarily a recall, but it can be fixed or adjusted or manipulated in a way that would make it okay again. Oftentimes called product updates or addendums or whatever they want to do to show that the problem is known and there is a solution. And for this bike and many bikes in the 80s, there were hundreds of addendum sheets per manual. And in particular, when it came to the GL1200, it came to the carburetor issue. So their solution was to rejet, put new idle jets in it, potentially mains, maybe some new needles that you can install to help resolve this well-known and common issue found on these bikes. And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, the GL1200 is a four-cylinder motor, opposed for boxer four, whatever you want to call it, and it was pretty involved when it came to the carburetor assembly. This is a humongous bread box that sits on the bike like this, and you have four different carburetors with its own maze of lines and cables and linkages to make everything work smoothly because those bikes were pretty smooth once they got them running right. So for any of you GL1200 owners out there or looking to own one to relive that 80s feel that you had on your first big fairings bike, the carburetor system is most often the thing that needs to be addressed, especially when you're trying to bring a bike back to life from that era. And when it comes to the common issue with the runnability of these carbs, finding the parts that Honda was offering at that time nowadays it's not gonna happen. In fact, they likely discontinued the part and pretty much washed their hands of it. So what I wanna do is give you guys my advice on tuning those carburetors if you are familiar with them and announce the fact that I now have a brand new course designed specifically around this set of carbs. Now I would imagine that most shops in your area when it comes to a dealer or a mom and pop will not likely even have a conversation with you about how much it would cost to get these carburetors clean. Oh no, no, no. I mean, no, no. You're talking easily over $1,500 to get this job done, in and out, cleaned, and perfect, hopefully, if they know what they're doing. So a carburetor set was sent to me and me knowing about this issue that is all over the internet and forums on how to get them to run correctly, I took it upon myself to record the entire process from step to step, full teardown, split, replacing the parts, tuning them how they should be. And I also even have the conclusion or the results of this carb clean and this specific tune to show you guys here. Hey Cody, just got those carbs. Uh, the engine and carbs were installed on this GL1200. The carbs are the ones you uh, rebuilt for me a month or so ago. What a huge difference. I tell you what, the response and the... Settles right back down where it should be in an instant. These things are uh, awesome. I can't hardly wait to get back on this thing and ride it. So there are really two main differences when it comes to the models. Interstate, Aspen, Cade, SC, I do not care what model it is. There was typically the California model and then you had the 50 states version. Both had different jetting, and a little bit different piping. Ultimately, what I wanna tell you guys is that you don't need to find the parts that Honda had back then and search the web for them. All you need to do is take the idle jet circuit, say it's a number 35 for the 50 states version, and bump it to a 40 idle jet, all four of them. Take a number four steel washer and simple shim trick that's well known, and shim the main jet needle on all four carbs. Then take the mixture screw setting and set it to about two and a three turns out from its resting position, depending on your area, that may vary. And that's it. That fixes the problem. And I think the evidence that you just saw proves that. Now that being said, for any of you who are new to the carburetor cleaning world and you have no idea what I'm talking about, like I said, these carburetors that I showed in this video were sent to me and I recorded a step-by-step -step process that's now available to anyone who needs it. This is a complete carburetor course. The only thing it does not include is the installation and removal of the carbs. But if you can do that, then you can clean the carbs. I promise you. Especially when you have a source like this that allows you to tear them down completely 
completely replace what's needed and be provided with tools and links on parts and where to get kits and all kinds of good stuff that shows you exactly how to do it in a professional manner and saving you tons of money in the meantime. So if you are in need of any help when it comes to the GL1200 carburetor assembly and the entire cleaning process that is pretty involved and you would like the bike to run better than it did when it came out of the box, I got you. In the description, there's a link that takes you to that page to show you what's it all about and what you get inside of the course. But before I go, I don't want to just leave you guys with that. There is a clip that I ripped from that course that I think is very helpful if you are cleaning a carburetor. If you're cleaning any carburetor ever, this video, this short clip will help you. This is a vital step that I find missed all the time. And I hope it helps you out. Oh, here's a very important thing to talk to you guys about. So we're, we're still cleaning the bodies, obviously. So right down, and see if we can get this thing to focus. So if you look down the throttle body, the throat of it, you'll see small holes that get revealed by the butterfly. Little tiny transfer holes, okay? Those are vital to the way this thing, that this thing runs. Especially when you're on off throttle, right off of idle, that one eighth, slightly open as this thing pulls back it's slowly revealing more and more of those transfer jets until it now contacts more of the emulsion tube in the center and that main jet is now being functioned very very key to know that every pretty much every carb has those transfer jets it may have one two three four it doesn't matter they matter okay and that's what i want you to take from this so when we spray into that idle jet and these starter jets most of the time, you should be watching it to come out of that transfer, those transfer holes, those little tiny little holes up there. So when I spray this idle jet, if I go downward like this, straight into the idle jet, I'm watching those transfer ports. And if you flood it, they will come out of there, I promise you, if it's clear. So that's it, everybody. Hope you found it helpful. And if you are in need of common practices when it comes to maintaining your motorcycle, on a basic level. I also have a maintenance course that I find very helpful when it comes to new riders or someone who needs to freshen up on what they should be doing to their bike on a consistent basis. In the description, same thing. There's a link for that as well, totally free to you, just for stopping by. Till next time, Cody from Motorcycle MD, bringing you guys some quality tips and tricks for your next build or your daily rider. See you around, later.